My research lab uh, develops uh, various smart biomaterials for applications in medicine, uh, ranging from the treatment of drug-resistant bacterial infections to improving women's and prenatal health. We develop all sorts of materials ranging from thin films to hydrogels to bacterial sensors. Um, in this particular project, we're very interested in trying to develop a model of the placenta in vitro. And we'll use our expertise in self-assembly to try to develop a lipid bilayer that mimics the components of the cell membrane of placental cells and also of just larger placental tissue. We're going to then propose to use these membrane mimics of the placenta to study how toxins and environmental uh, toxicants, as well as pharmaceuticals, for example, interact with the placenta in order to better understand how these things can affect women's and prenatal health. We were actually shocked to learn from recent CDC statistics that less than 2% of drugs recently approved by the FDA have data associated with their risks of use during pregnancy. However, 90% of women use medications while they are pregnant. By better understanding how things like environmental toxicants and pharmaceuticals interact with the placenta using systems such as ours, you can really design um, better treatment plans for women that are experiencing certain conditions during pregnancy and even superior therapeutics. I love that our research has a direct impact on society. For this particular project, we are focusing on women's health and prenatal health, and this literally impacts everyone and can really have lasting impacts on humankind. There's an abundance of male role models in STEM, but really just very few women. I make it a priority to try to recruit women into my lab in all sorts of roles. I also make sure that the women in my lab, whether they're postdocs, graduate students, or undergraduate students, are getting to mentor each other. I also serve as one of the faculty advisors for the Society of Women Engineers and try to mentor students in that role. I also work uh, routinely with other organizations that promote science and engineering for women, both at Brown and outside of Brown. There really aren't enough women in engineering and science, and by being one of those people and letting other women see that you are a woman in engineering and science, succeeding, uh, teaching people, acting as a leader, uh, these are critical things that actually make someone believe that I can do this too.